Hi there, and welcome to Sense by Nez. I'm the Nez that we speak of. Now, join us here weekly if you're into all things fragrance. I used to be a trainer for some major luxury houses, and I taught people how to sell fragrances, and I've sold fragrances to thousands of people. So I've got lots of fragranced tea to spill. And if you're joining us now, you probably want to know how to make your scent last all day. And I'm going to give you the insider tips and tricks. So let's go. Now, the reason why a fragrance doesn't last comes down to a handful of things. Some of them within your control and some of them completely out of your control. In order to teach you how to make that fragrance last longer all day, I need to tell you what those issues are and then give you solutions on how to fix them. So let's start with the first and in my opinion, one of the most common reasons why a fragrance doesn't last and it's not going to be a popular one, but I'm just going to say it. Some fragrances are bad quality. They're simply bad quality. Now, a designer can be your favorite designer. A, de a fragrance house can be your favorite fragrance house and have a million hits and a million incredible fragrances, but they just happen to release a dud. It happens all the time. Almost every fragrance house has a dud. But the truth is that not all fragrances are made equal. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of one of my favorite fragrances that is terrible quality. And that is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I have a whole video on why this is this fragrance is done, and I still have it, and it's a niche fragrance. So it doesn't matter how much you spend, spending more doesn't always automatically make a fragrance better. So the only way to rectify this issue, to make sure that you don't end up with a crappy fragrance, is to try it. That is the only way. So what you need to do is when you go in to the store to do some perfume shopping, narrow it down to your top three choices, try them on your skin and do not buy anything right there and there. No matter how good that salesperson is, no matter how much they're telling you it's the most popular fragrance and it's going to be perfectly fine, don't believe it, don't trust it, spray it on your skin, walk out of the store and if you still like it later on that day, if a good five hours has passed and you can still smell it and it's still what you want, then go back and buy it. Now the reason why I say this is because a lot of fragrances smell amazing on the first burst and that magic just gets into our heads. It messes with us and we're like, okay, I'm gonna need this right now. No, that fragrance has to prove itself to you. No, that fragrance needs to show faithfulness to you. It needs to show consistency. It needs to show loyalty. That fragrance is your boyfriend apparently. Now, Reason number two why your fragrance might not last and how to fix it is that you're dry, girl. You're dry, that's what it is. You're a little scaly, you're a little flaky, you're a little lizard, you're a little dry. I'm, I'm playing. Look, I have this issue myself. So this is okay, there's a very easy fix to this. It just means that you have to slightly alter the way that you apply fragrance. And what I mean by that is before you apply fragrance to your pulse points, whether it's the sides of your neck, on the um, insides of your wrist, what you want to do is apply a bit of unscented lotion to just create a bit of a moisture barrier there, something that's going to hold the fragrance a bit tighter. Or even better, if you have the matching body lotion for that fragrance, which many, many brands often sell, you apply that and then you apply your fragrance on top. Now, now, why this is important is because the moisture barrier from that lotion will help to pull the fragrance into your skin and hold it there and help project it as well as the day goes past and you get hot and you know, you're walking around and you're getting the perspiration and the pulse points and I sound like a pervert. Reason number three, your nose is gaslighting you. No, that's a very, it's a common thing. I'm not making that up. So what happens is that your nose starts to filter out certain scents when they're around all the time. Like for example, when you go into somebody's house, you can very often smell the scent of their house, right? But they don't smell it anymore themselves because their nose has grown accustomed to that scent and therefore forgets about that scent. The exact same thing happens with perfume, especially fragrances that you wear all the time, that you wear commonly, your nose will be like, oh, well, this is around all the time, so why do I need to focus on this? And it will forget about that scent and hone in on everything else around it because that's one of our biological traits. So if you wear a fragrance all the time, the chances are that at some point you are not going to be able to smell it, but other people can still smell it. Other people might hold you, they might hug you, they might come near you and they might say, oh my God, you smell so amazing. And you're like, what the hell? I can't smell a damn thing with me anymore. Well, that's a biological reaction. Your nose has grown accustomed and forgotten about it. So what you can do in that situation, if it's very important to you that you'll be able to smell your fragrance all day, is you actually have to kind of give that fragrance a break. So whether that's a week or two, whatever it might be, your nose needs to kind of have a break from that scent, use something else, 
and then when you come back to it, you should be able to smell it again. So reason number four is you're using a citrus fragrance. Now I'm not blasting citrus fragrances and saying that they're bad quality, nothing like that. Half of my collection is citrus fragrances. However, the citrus scent molecule in itself is volatile. Volatile meaning that it breaks apart and kind of explodes in on itself rather quickly. So if you find yourself gravitating towards really, really fresh scents all the time and purchasing fresh scents, and you find that they don't last and they don't project, it's because the typical compounds that make up that fragrance are not as strong and it's very difficult to make them much stronger. Now there are exceptions to this and this comes into the category of synthetic citruses. There are some citruses that will be really, really long lasting and good quality. And the reason for that is that they are synthetic ingredients that have been kind of chemically altered to last longer, to give more impact and to be stronger. So common examples of like a synthetic, but really long lasting, high quality citrus is Aqua Di Gio for men and light blue Dolce and Gabbana for men and women. Those fragrances last a very long time, even though they are citrus and it's just because of those compounds. Now it's not to say that a fragrance has, to, a citrus fragrance has to be synthetically made in order to be strong. That's not the case. They can use natural ingredients and still have a really wonderful effect. However, the importance again is that you try it on and you make sure that it works for you. Now, if you do want a fragrance that's long lasting, citrus is typically not the category that I would look for if I want a lot of projection. The category of fragrances that typically last the longest is the oriental type. So these are fragrances that have ambers, that generally have rich white florals to them as well. Sometimes they can have a bit of gourmand, like vanilla in there. And these are the things that typically stick the longest. Thank you for watching and that brings me to the end. I hope that you have a better understanding now of the reason why your fragrance might not be lasting as long as you want it to and what you need to do to make it last a bit longer. If you enjoy this type of video, hit like, subscribe and join me here weekly to spill some more fragrance tea. Now go off and have a goddamn great day wherever you are.